Doctor Who is never far from the entertainment headlines, particularly uh, in the UK and to a lesser extent Australia and to a growing extent America, since uh, the BBC did a deal with Disney. And uh, I'm sure pockets uh, of the rest of the world are going to open up with this Disney Plus arrangement where the episode's going to be seen uh, simultaneously with when they're available on the BBC iPlayer. So, what's not to like? Except that a lot of Doctor Who fans always seem unhappy. Why? Before I go on, can I ask you please to like, share, uh, comment, please do comment, and above all, subscribe. Costs you absolutely nothing, and it helps me a bit to make my videos. Let's hope I can do something for you that makes you happy. We all need to be happy. Well, I say that except some people tend to be constantly unhappy. People who claim to be Doctor Who fans, I often wonder whether they like the show at all or they only just want to pretend to like it so they can complain about it because they certainly don't understand about it. And the first thing that they don't understand about it is it's always changing. You don't get to be around for 60 years, <coughs> speaking from experience, without changing. You can't be the same person you were 50 years ago. The television show can't be the same one that it was when William Hartnell first emerged in An Unearthly Child. Uh, times change, the Doctor changes, uh, the wardrobe changes, even the TARDIS changes a little bit. So this is a show about change and evolution, and it's a, it's a show about time. So it's, it's no surprise that things are different now to what they used to be. Okay, so we all have our favourite Doctor. And before the, the new Who, as they call it, came along, I think I was probably uh, among the many who thought that Tom Baker was the, the quintessential Doctor. Uh, probably because he was on air the longest of the uh, classic Doctors and because that period coincided with a certain stage of my life um, that I became to appreciate the show. But now the world uh, has changed, my view of the show has changed and I regard what Russell T Davis did uh, initially to reboot the show and now what he's back to do to freshen things up is a very, very good thing. Now, uh, the good thing about the way television works now is, of course, that you can watch those old shows pretty much on demand. Um, various services around the world enable you to go to the back catalogue. And apart from those shows that are sadly missing and the gaps are being filled in uh, with animations and... and uh, other means, you can watch it whatever you want to watch. If you just want to uh, binge on Peter Davidson or Patrick Troughton or John Pertwee or Sylvester McCoy or whoever, you can do that. You don't have, no one's holding a gun to your head and saying, you must watch the new episodes with Shudi Gatwa. Although I would argue that if you're not watching them, well, then you're missing out on a lot. And I would even go so far to say, you're not a true fan. Because as I said before, you don't understand the show. The show is about change. The show is about fresh ideas. It brings in new writers. It brings in new possibilities. And that, that, that's hard for any show. That's why most sitcoms, dramas last maybe six or seven seasons, as the Americans would call them, series, as I might call them, because there are a limited number of things that you can do uh, when you're in a situation, those characters can only move in certain directors. The characters get old. But the star of Doctor Who is the concept. It's the show. The only constant is the TARDIS. And as I said earlier, even the TARDIS has changed a little bit over the years. And our understanding of what the TARDIS is has changed. Um, and I would suspect it's about to change again. Again, this is a good thing. I'm very excited to see where this goes. I want to see what Chittigatwa's Doctor does. I want to know the story, the mystery of Ruby Tuesday. I want to see uh, not just the episodes written uh, 
by, uh, by Russell T. Davis, but also ones by Stephen Moffat. And there are some new writers coming in too. And of course, that's the future of the show. In 120 years' time, I'd love to think that Doctor Who's still around. Now, of course, it's going to have to change because things that were science fiction back in 63 uh, will be either fact or totally disproved by then. But the show can evolve because it can go backwards, it can go forwards, it can go in all sorts of directions. And all I can say to you is if you don't like what's happening now, you know, wait for the next bus, wait for the next iteration. But don't spoil the pleasure that people like myself, a very old fan, and some of the new fans coming through, people who very much identify with Shudi Gatwa um, and uh, want... Their, their pleasure. Don't, don't, don't mess it up for them. Don't let your gre sort of greedy longing for something that has now moved on spoil their fun. Because you can go back. You can go back in time, just like the Doctor himself, and watch the episodes you loved and just ignore what you don't like. And I have friends who've done that. Said, I didn't particularly like this one, so I just forget about it. I go, well, you know, that, that Doctor didn't exist for me because there's always, like a bus, there's always another Doctor Who coming along. Thank you for your time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my rant. Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? Maybe you think uh, the show has ended, as some people have declared. You think it's dead. You think that the whole shebang should just be closed down. If you think that, make your arguments in the comments. Let me know. Let, let, let's talk about it. I'm, I'm here. I'm here for you, but I'm, I'm, I'm here for the Doctor right now, okay? So, like comment, subscribe, and um, enjoy. Enjoy life. It's too short to be worrying about not liking a particular actor or character or script. Write your own script.